Everton are forced to reshuffle their defence. With Mike Pedgick still injured, Mark Higgins is at left back. Neil Robinson plays only his third full game of the season at right full back. Billy Wright is in the centre of that defence. Colin Todd switches to midfield for the first time in three years. Alongside him, Trevor Ross and Everton's new club captain, Martin Dobson. Up front, there's no place for Mickey Walsh, who's substitute. So Andy King gets a striking role, the result of two goals against Linfield in a friendly this week. For Bristol City, a very experienced back four, including Norman Hunter, the former Leeds player, and Terry Cooper, a teammate of his at Elland Road. In midfield, Jerry Gow plays on the right side with another former Merseysider returning to Liverpool, Peter Cormack. And up front, Joe Royal, of course, flanked by Tom Ritchie and Clive Whitehead. So it's Everton in the dark shirts, picking from left to right who get us underway. They haven't won in their last four matches. A chance, though, this afternoon to go top of the first division. They've had three previous chances to take over the leadership, but they failed on each occasion. I think that is probably reflected in what looks at this uh, early stage a rather dismal gate. Joe Royal. Whitehead to Tainton, Cormac's in the middle, so too is Richie. Lyons gets the touch. Mick Lyons getting the uh, final touch and conceding the corner after Bristol City have built up from deep in their own half. It's fine possession football. Cooper, no one coming to make the challenge. Good ball in there, and Billy Wright it was who got the header over the top. Billy Wright, who got that header over the bar, one that was aimed towards the very dangerous head indeed of Joe Royal. Peter Cormack it is to take this corner for Bristol City. Royal gets the touch, and Wood forced to just touch it over the top. Well, Joe Royal is obviously going to be a threat to Everton in this match. That's the second header he's got in. And... Uh, George Wood forced to concede the corner again. Some pressure by Bristol City. Again, this time towards Ritchie. Sweeney. Cormac. Cooper. Played beautifully for Jerry Gow, who's onside. Whitehead is free, the ball's come to him, and that is the opening goal, is it? Yes. Well deserved by Bristol City, and that's Clive Whitehead's first goal of the season. Beautifully worked. The clearance was missed time, Lyons missing it all together, and really Whitehead had quite a simple task to beat George Wood. ball from uh, Andy King and trying to find Latchford. Whitehead covering on the edge of the area and possibly getting himself uh, and the Bristol City defence into trouble. Sweeney and Dobson. Oh my word, that nearly came through and Terry Cooper might almost have scored an own goal. Well, Dobson, rather luckily, I think, it was a ricochet that turned the ball at across the face of the Bristol City goal and uh, Terry Cooper there almost turning it into his own net, John Shaw going down to grab it and very relieved to do so. to urge Everton forward. Ross again, Hunter away, and Dobson trying to go through on his own, almost shaping for the shot. It's crowded out by Gow and Tainton. And foul given, foul on Rod and Dobson.
you know, in a very a monster of a little character. Certainly brought his luck the last time he was on the kickoff match. He refereed a match between Manchester United and West Brom that provided us with eight goals. Chance then for Trevor Ross, possibly to try one. It's the sort of range that he favours. Said goes for the chip, in goes King, and Lyons can't quite make it on the far post. Richie getting in a few problems and conceding the corner. John Shaw likely to be put under some pressure from this corner. Latchford is up there, so too is Dobson and Lyons. Then it comes almost to Billy Wright. Higgins. All bubbling around. Everton unable to find a way through. Well, the concern looking Everton bench, Jimmy McGregor, the physio on the left, substitute Mickey Walsh, manager Gordon Lee and coach Eric Harrison. And Ross turning it in towards Higgins. Can that fall for someone in a blue shirt? And again, it's that man, David Rogers, who gets the ball away. And he thought these conditions would favour the little men out there, but the likes of David Rogers and Norman Hunter really have adjusted exceptionally well. Thomas and in swinger, up goes Laxford, it's come to Andy King and he's there! Andy King's 12th goal of the season. It bubbled through to Andy King, through a forest of bodies and eventually his head was enough to turn it in off the near post to make it Everton 1, Bristol City 1, Everton right back in it. So, 32 minutes gone, Everton back on terms, and that's warmed up the crowd a wee bit. Let's hope also it might put a bit more life in the proceedings. Robinson. Robinson again. An awkward loss of control by Trevor Ross. The referee might have played advantage. Just a little touch by Royal, the same by Ritchie, and it's fallen for Cormac. Good save. Wood was down very sharply. Cormac turned quite brilliantly and shot towards the far post, but Wood was down immediately to make a good save. Higgins. letting it run and almost came through to Latchford. Richie. Ross, nice control, good first time ball to King. Probably delayed it too long, although he gets in the shot. So two saves by both goalkeepers. Dobson, as we go into injury time in this first half. First half to Tom Ritchie. It should give us about 45 seconds of injury time. Latchford back to Dobson. Played too far behind Robinson. See how players just can't afford to turn and make mistakes. It has to go, it has to be played back. Gao. That's the kind of ball the midfield players love. Bormack to Whitehead. Sweeney. Cormac, who's popped up on that far side. Royals back header, Lions clearance. 
Cooper just leaving it for Hunter. And there indeed is the half-time whistle. Andy King, the player who equalised for Everton after Clive Whitehead had given Bristol the lead. King, of course, in this match converted to a striking role. Mickey Walsh has become substitute. Not a very distinguished first half, but Bristol have possibly adapted better to the conditions with Astro boots. A half-time score then of Bristol City, one Everton. Welcome back then to the second half. Score one all, of course. And the player who gave Bristol City the lead, Clive Whitehead, beaten to the ball by Mark Higgins. Billy Wright's clearance. Everton's record against Bristol City since Bristol were promoted is uh, quite revealing, really. Out of five matches, Everton have dropped just one point, and that was earlier in the season at Ashton Gate when the score was 2 2. Richie. Sweeney looking for Gow. Handball by Thompson. I think might have been saying to the referee that, that was ball to hand. Rather optimistic appeal, in my opinion. Gow to take it. And all three players showing again how tricky the conditions are. Thomas. Still going, Latchford almost losing his footing, trying to find Todd, but Whitehead very quickly back there. No one yet making the challenge. Whitehead still going and looking for Ritchie. Dobson. and finding Whitehead with a lovely ball, but Whitehead's control let him down. Thomas. Then Rogers winning it in the air, but that time illegally. So too, it must be said, there's uh, Norman Hunter in that Bristol City defence. Latchford, though, gets it down, but Gow completes the clearance. And Wright heading it straight to Cormac. There could be something on here for Bristol. Whitehead. Ritchie is unmarked, and Whitehead finds him. Taking on Thomas and Wright. Good cross, Whitehead! Oh, a good save! Well, a fortunate save anyway. Whitehead came in on the cross from Ritchie, headed it powerfully down, and George Wood, thankful to see the ball hit his legs and go over the top. A good break, that by Bristol City. And again, they showed more constructive play in the opening stages of this second half. Whitehead to take the corner. Goes Royal, who wins it. Robinson belts it away. King. Some nice control. Latchford playing it first time to Thomas. It's Everton's turn to play the football. Rogers across, so too is Gowers. Thomas gets in the cross. Ross. And Dobson. Latchford in there. Cormac cheekily turning it back to John Shaw. Mark Higgins. Sweeney. Whitehead to Gow. Whitehead continuing on the run and Richie finding him. 
This is better stuff now from Bristol. Whitehead trying to go past Higgins, which he does, and pulls it right back for Ritchie. Oh, that wasn't very far away from Tom Ritchie. A beautiful move. Whitehead it was who turned the ball back from the byline, and Ritchie, who shot, just went over the bar. playing it out of play. Oh, Cormac straight back to Latchford and Hunter was very quickly in to rectify the situation. Dobson. Ross, but it's not a control pass and even still he manages to get it in and King if he turns here, good score! And he has! Andy King puts Everton 2-1 in the lead. Another scrappy goal, but Andy King won't mind that. His 13th goal of the season. A high ball played in by Trevor Ross. Everton couldn't really control it. Bristol City couldn't get it away. But Andy King was the only player yet again who could make something of it. And he beat John Shaw, as it turned out, quite easily. So Everton find themselves 2-1 in the lead and if that is the scoreline at the end they'll be top of the first division tonight and the crowd now finding things rather funny well, Clive Whitehead who's been quite a thorn in Everton side tonight uh, this afternoon rather slipping as he tried to chase that long ball from Jerry Sweeney Sweeney goal side and covering well. But that'll be a corner. And surely another goal to Everton would put the result beyond any doubt. Thomas to take this kick. Higgins has moved up, so too as Lyons, Latchford and Dobson. In towards Lyons, a nice back header, Higgins! Couldn't get over it. Mark Higgins shot going over the top. King very much the hero of the hour for Everton to Robinson and Hunter's missed it King's on for his hat-trick oh what a finish that was beautifully done Andy King gets his first hat-trick of the season and that was a brilliant bit of finishing. The ball played through, Hunter completely missed it. And King punished the error in no uncertain terms. Everton 3, Bristol City 1. And that should indeed see Everton on top of Division 1 tonight. So Gordon Lee's gamble of playing Andy King up front in place of Mickey Walsh pays off. Tainton. Hooper. Sweeney. Latford getting the touch on to Thomas. And all of a sudden, everything's right in Everton's world. The Everton bench, Mickey Walsh, the substitute. He was the man that Andy King replaced up front. Right, in fact, is having a go. Oh, my word. What a cracker. Billy Wright's second goal of the season. Viciously struck. Well, what a...
a tremendous shot by Billy Wright. He seemed to be lining up for some kind of effort as he looked at that Bristol City wall. And then thud. And John Shaw, possibly unsighted, had no chance to keep it out. Pushing it out to Cooper. King. Latchford. He's past Hunter. Now it's a chase between Latchford and Sweeney. Oh. Latchford delayed his shot. And when it came, it went dipping over the bar. This time chased by King. Royal. Cooper going past Ross. This result won't do Bristol City's chances of European football next season any good at all. Billy right away and Gao trying a snapshot which went just over the top. Ball coming to Jerry Gao, half volleyed shot, only a couple of inches or so over the bar. Todd inside. And White only managing to help it on today, Thomas. A supplier of prolific crosses this afternoon, but that one might turn out something. Todd Higgins, Thomas trying the chip and hitting the post. King is still in with a chance. Cormac back very quickly, but King, in fact, caught offside. Had to do about nothing, but it was all created by Dave Thomas and his crossing. Today's attendance then, just under 30,000. 30,000 very brave fans indeed on a very bitterly cold afternoon. Dobson, nice ball back by Thomas. Everton keeping the pressure on and keeping Bristol pinned back in their own half. Ross, back to Lyons. And a long ball forward. Dobson and Gow in a bad tussle for that. And uh, Dobson are judged to have impeded Jerry Gow. Sweeney with the kick. Royal directing his header straight to Cormac. And Robinson struggling to get it back to Wood. Rogers is right up there. Cormac trying to turn it in. And Wood eventually grabbing it right on the goal line. Rare old scramble there. Cormac was right in there, so too was Richie. But George Wood eventually managed to grab it. Andy King in the chest. And it's from a similar distance that uh, Billy Wright scored Everton's fourth goal. It looks like he's going to try and do the same again. Well, three men in the Bristol City Wall as there were last time. Here he comes. And that time the wall caught for it. 
Whitehead. Gao. Formak, Sweeney breaking from the back. Tainton's there as well, and it's Todd who gets it back towards, or rather concedes the corner. So we're into wintry time. 4 1 to Everton. Anything Bristol City get now will be a mere consolation. Cooper. Laxford gets it away, and Hunter swinging with his right foot. Quite as trusty as the left. King chasing and chasing well. Well, could this be number five and a good finish for Everton? In towards Latchford. He let it run and Rogers got it away. Sweeney. Nice control there by the fullback. Richie. Should, could, uh, should trickle out for a corner. So another chance for Bristol to add some respectability to this scoreline. Certainly doesn't do them any justice. Richie turning it in, and it could go in yet. Robinson it was who hacked it off the line. Well, Richie turned that in. Robinson cleared it off the line, and that turned out to be the last kick of the match. The goals by Whitehead, the first goal of the match for Bristol City, then followed three by this man, Andy King, his hat-trick, the final goal by Billy Wright. Everton then go top of the league with this score. Everton 4, Bristol City 1.